Woo! Okay, now we're good. We didn't take the we didn't take the truck. We took the roller today, boys. Good we're job, rolling. Pilot. We're rolling fancy. Yeah. yeah. None of this driving the freaking 250 to the farm anymore. I'm tired of going through a tank of gas every day. We're ripping the roller. We're going to a neighborhood market. Never been there before. We got to get some sugar and water because we got to feed them bees. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Here we go. Cane sugar, probably. Granulated sugar, doesn't matter what's the difference. So we only need, you need four pounds per gallon. Is that four, four pounds? pounds? Okay, get two, three, you just get three of those. That way we're stuck. Because honestly, we don't have to do this. We don't have to do this for like another month. Not even a few Not weeks. Even, so yeah. that'll last us three weeks. Yeah. Ish, probably. Okay. Yeah, we and we need big jugs of water. All right, we're, we're buying this not to eat, but to uh, shoot with shotguns. Because that's nope. what we do here. Oh, yeah. We'll Definitely should have got a cart. No, you're my cart. I got it. Don't worry. We're good. Bonzo, you can climb it. Climb in that wheel. Bro, we totally need to stick him in one and roll him down a hill. All right, folks. Well, we are at the farm today. First things first, we need to go check on the corn. Remember when I planted sweet corn? Well, look at it now. That's the nicest sweet corn I've ever seen. And then I don't think all that's sweet corn, is it? Oh, I think that's field is. corn. This is sweet corn and then field corn that goes down yonder. Yeah. But that is corn that I, oh, actually, I didn't plant that real cow did. That is corn that I planted. Wait, no, I planted this one. This one right here, I planted, probably. Like, I'm missing a bunch. Oh, no, no, I look good. Your lines were not straight. It kind yeah, you know, they, <laughs> they, they're not. Kyle said you get more cobs, bushels. What was the oh. thing? You get more stocks out of a crooked row. So I'm just a game changer. Yeah, he was definitely just trying to make me feel better. But that's all right, Kyle. I'll take the compliment. Well, we got sweet corn. Don't you step on it, boy. Now, the biggest mission is going to be uh, once it gets going here about July. Knee high by July. Isn't that what they say? Probably not in that accent, though. We got to keep the raccoons away from the sweet corn. That's going to be the biggest challenge of the season, probably. Keeping them away. I feel like we should just put dog proofs along this whole edge. It's not nearing season. True. Yeah, so I guess my sweet corn's just gonna get murked and there's nothing I can do about it. Wait, hang on, let me see that half first. Shoo! Get naked for me, Bonzo. Let me see them nipples. Let's see it. Shoot, look at the farm work. Merch. We got farm, farm merch. merch. Welcome to the farm. Far, what does that say? Flare farm? <laughs> Sorry, I'm blind today. I'm wearing the same hat. We've got this. We've got a bunch of different merch. But if you guys want to have a chance to come to the farm, if you want to come down to the farm and hang out and uh, drive the tank, drive the warthog, get on the duck boat, go shoot carp or go catch fish or go shoot ducks or deer whatever you want to do and if you win you win the dangle dinghy the little john boat that i built that i put the deck on and everything else so again all you gotta do you just gotta click the link at the very top of the description go copy yourself some merch and you're automatically entered each item that you purchase equals one entry so if you buy two hats and two t-shirts that's a total of four one two three four you get entered four times that ends june 15th like i said i'm gonna select somebody you're gonna come down to the farm we're gonna hang out for the weekend. I'll film it, it'll be dope, and then you'll go home with the dangle dinghy. With that being said, let's go set some crawfish traps. Woo! All right, folks, well, we just made it back down to the brew bakery. This is where we are storing the traps. Traps have not been set out, so we gotta find it. Why'd this grass get so tall all of a sudden? Oh, I see the rope, we're good. So there's two right here. We got two traps, so we'll take these for sure. And then, oh yeah, I forgot. Remember I lost a half? Remember I lost half of it? Yeah. All right, so let's take this. So you wanna take that one? Nope. Then we'll take, oh God, there's a mouse. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh wait, what? You trapped him out. Hang on. Bro, this was a minnow trap. Oh, gross, dude. Why is there a mouse in there, though? It literally just must have crawled in there and couldn't figure out how to get out. Dude, why don't we use these to trap mice? <laughs> wait, think about it. Think about it. They go in, and there's no way they could climb out. You need to do that. Why would yeah. this not be the greatest mouse trap? Because they could easily just go, if they, like, climbed, they could probably get out. We should try it, though. I think it we might have just invented something. We got all the traps. We've got some meat. We're gonna go see if we can get some more tadpoles and crawfish. If you guys remember, in a previous video, which video was that? In the video where I bought the new farm, we, we've been setting traps out. We finally figured out that you put meat in it. But we, what we've been doing is catching tadpoles and crawfish in the creek by the beaver dam and bringing them here to feed the bass and everything else that's in there. So let's go set some traps. He's muddy. Are there any tadpoles left? Well, did they all get their legs and stuff? I think we're gonna put these two here, and then there's a creek by the survival spot that's super clear and looks like there'd be a lot of crawfish. So we're gonna throw the actual crawfish one there. So we're gonna set up in two different places and, uh, and see what happens. We're not seeing any tadpoles, so we're thinking that they grew their legs and now they're up on the bank, frog doing frog things and whatnot. But I don't know if there's gonna be any crawfish left. So we're gonna throw both these guys in there. What do, you have, what do we have to feed these guys? Oof, sting. We're gonna give them the good, great value summer sausage. Won't even give them the freaking name brand. Come on, Bonzel. I feel like this will work for at least the crawfish. I know crawfish. I think the, t the tadpoles might have just gotten caught because they were being tadpoles and stupid. But crawfish, I feel like, like meat. So I'll give them a couple dangles here. Gotta make sure we're giving the crawfish the highest of quality meat. Oh yeah, let's go throw it in there. Shove that meat right in there. Oh dude, we're definitely catching crawfish. 
All right, let's go toss these in. All right, we'll tie her off to a little branch and call it good. Great. Dude, this is like, it actually looks kind of cool. It looks like we're walking in the jungle right now. Dude, I can't believe how grassy the beaver spot is now. Dude, they pack that in so oh, that's heavy. Nasty. That's gross. Screw you beavers, it ain't trapping season, but I can still do this. There yeah, now we're talking. Screw you beavers. Sheesh, straight from the jungle boys. What are you doing? Throwing it straight in the Missouri River? Dude, that thing is ripping. You better tie it, you gotta tie it off to a stick and stake it for yeah, sure. Yeah, I know. Yep. Oh dang, that's deep. Yeah, that's good right there, perfect. You gotta really make sure your knot's good though, cause that, the current will probably float that thing pretty good. That's a crawfish trap if I've ever seen one. Oh yeah. Blowing like real long. See, I can stick it under that log. Yeah, this is where we need it. Okay, so let's make sure these are situated correctly. Dude, that's a that's a beauty of a spot. Tie her off of this log real, right quick. We're good. Just hit the hit the what's the what's the stand move called? Alright, we're good. Let's go uh what are we doing next? Lunch. That's deep. Hey guys, oh, yeah. how's it going? Hey guys. Yeah, they're pasturing. Like they can go all the way around and pasture down there. Okay. That one's dropping. They're all dropping bombs right now, actually. I see four. Well, the cows are good. And uh, you guys know, we've kind of got a pet cow on the farm. Long story short, the mom that birthed her is not healthy enough to feed her. So Jake's actually been coming out here and bottle feeding her. So he's been keeping her in this barn separate. And now she's kind of like our pet. And we're going to name her today. Actually, Bonsell, Bonsell's going to name her today. What's up, 102? It's okay. Oh. She kind of, she forgot who we were. She forgot we we're friends. All right, we don't, we don't need it. We don't need Tormentor. 102, that's been her name so far. What are you naming her? It's now Betsy. Betsy. Yeah. She kind of, dude, dude a comments. lot of comments that look like she's wearing socks on her back feet. It literally looks like she's wearing some straight up white Nikes. Oh, she's giving it a, okay. So, naming 102 Betsy. You're now known as Betsy. Betsy the cow, Betsy the pet cow. She's hanging out. She's getting used to us. I don't want to disturb you while you're doing your business. I'll give you a second here. Betsy, right here. Betsy, right here. Oh, she thinks, oh, it's not a bottle and she's pissed about it. She thinks that when you put out a finger, she thinks it's a bottle because Jake comes out here and bottle feeds her. Now she knows it's not a bottle. Now she's pissed about it. We just need to come out here when Jake comes out here to feed her because I feel like we could be, we could become closer friends. Like I said, she's named, name's Betsy. All the other cows are out and kind of in there. They're kind of on a pasture. Basically, kind of, you know, obviously you guys know. I shouldn't say obviously. If you guys don't know, you have to rotate cows around a lot because they graze and you can't let them overpick a certain area. So they're out there hanging out right now. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. What are you, a cow whisper now, Bonsell? Oh, it's so soft. It's okay. Hi. She's getting bigger. Yeah, she is. Oh, now she's 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 all comfortable now. Hey, oh, oh, it's okay. Oh, see you later. Okay. All right. All right, that's good. It's good enough. It's good enough. Me. All right, now we're headed down to the farm. Now it's lunchtime. I said it was lunchtime earlier, but then we're like, oh shoot, we gotta go check on Betsy. Betsy's good. Now it's time for some food. Here we go. Lunchtime, boys. This lunch is sponsored by Lunchable. Not actually, I wish. I actually haven't had one of these in. Honestly, I haven't had the pizza one in a long time. Honestly, the pizza one's the only way to go. Like that, that thing, eh, it's all right. We're gonna do a quick little unboxing slash cooking. You guys know I love cooking on this channel, big cook guy. We're gonna start it off with a little uh, pizza sauce. This is, uh, this is the key to success in life is Lunchable pizzas. Then you get your cheese, sprinkle that cheese on there. Then you grab three pepperonis, one, two, and three. And right there is the greatest pizza on planet Earth. From field to table, is that what it's called? Closest thing you get to field to table, or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Now comes the sugar water part. So we have bees, and they require sugar water this time of year. So we're gonna get some sugar water going. So we've got like four, that way we've got plenty for pretty much the rest of the season. Because once they start doing their pollination thing, you don't really need to feed them as much. Dude, this could take forever. I, I left my big funnel at home. Look at my, look, mine just leaks. Come on, get out, nobody! All right, well, I'm too lazy to take my boots off to my suit on. Honestly, it's the worst. He said if it's cold, kind of cloudy, gloomy, rainy, is when the bees are pissed. And we don't have any smoke. I feel like we're asking to get stung at this point. Well, I see five dead on the outside. That's new. Dude, they may be dead. What happened? 
Oh, shoot! Why they did that just dead. scare me? They're not dead. Okay. <laughs> okay, why aren't they moving along? Why aren't they Why aren't they doing bee things right here? They're only murking right here. Why? Like, dude, they're not even tough. We I definitely did something wrong. I feel like we're cheeks at beekeeping. Yeah. Should, we, should we separate it from the food? So let's just try to put this one here and see if they do anything. They didn't like that. Hang on, boys. We're shutting your lid. You gotta give them food. Oh, yeah. We should probably get some cinder blocks to put on top of this. I saw a lot of your guys' comments saying to- Let's put the water on top of it. Oh yeah, we can do that. Dude, this is the good hive, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at them murking. Look at that. But they're still, but the thing is they're still not even touching any of these. Dude, they drink a lot of that water. This one, this one's way better. I forgot if these ones are the Italians or the other ones. They're not touching any yeah. of these. Why are they not moving? Were we, should we just shift everything? Yeah. We're going to try moving some of these. They're called uh, frames. This may or may not piss them off completely. Yep, they're going to get pissed real quick here. Oh my goodness. Look at that one. Dude, this hive's going ham. Just gently drop those in. We are good as gold, so put that on there and where's the other jug? All right, we'll put this as the, as the weight. We did some rearranging, that could have been a bad thing. We tried, we moved all the- All the like good frames, them. yeah, we moved them away from the feeder. That way they'd have to go towards, I don't know. We literally could have just- They're probably gonna all be gone by the next time we're here. We might have just ruined it, but we're good. Woo. All right, folks, so bees are taken care of, cows are good. We still have to check on the pigs a little bit later today, but while we're here, <laughs> God, that bugs went right in my nose. While we're here at the pad that hopefully will burn down or destroy here soon, Bond's daddy decided to buy a toy. He uh, he bought a toy. I'm so. big into trap shooting. Any ladies out there like trap shooting? He's your man. But we're gonna set up the trap shooting machine and just shoot some clays just for fun while we're while we're out here killing time. And uh, I don't know. We'll see who's the sharpshooter. Austin talks a lot of smack. He acts like he's just Chris Kyle out here. So we're gonna put it to the test. I've never shot a clay before. So. Oh, really? No, never. Oh, first time. All right, cool. Hey! 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 Or let's shoot some eggs. Eggs are better. I've never shot an egg. Eggs are fun. Okay. Gone. Ready? Yeah. Hey! There you go. That looks cool. There you go. Well, that works. Woo. All right, folks. Well, we're done shooting the clays and eggs. But Kyle was telling us as we were shooting, he said that the hog shed, the big barn that we keep all the pigs in, actually caught on fire fire so uh and i guess he put out the fire so we're actually gonna go assess the damage right now see how bad it is more importantly to see if crispy p got any more crispy what's up bud? come on let's go see the pigs well they're crispy where's crispy crispy well crispy's alive they're a lot bigger they are bigger kyle what caught on fire here i come around the corner and there's like flames all rolling flames up. right here no like right here fire across that field they're burning much trash over there Embers blew over here. There was one spot that started but it didn't catch fire. Okay. And so this all this corner, their pen was all burned up. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh wow. I mean flames are just rolling up the side. Really? Of yeah, luckily there was a hose right there. I mean the flames are rolling. Oh, oh my this gosh. Thing coming across the ceiling and everything. It was So uh, you an ember came in blue under yeah, there? You think or do you know where blowing. it started? Yeah, I mean yeah, it started right in this corner. Really? The wind was blowing straight through it's kind of hard if you guys to see because it's dark but that's not supposed to be black i mean that's a brown it's a brown pole so that's all fried and melted so this whole thing caught fire and it was just roaring huh yeah i mean the, from the other side the smoke was just pouring out of the barn i thought the whole thing was on fire all oh yeah now you can now you can see this is all burnt mm -hmm. all this is burnt up burnt oh yeah you can see it there coming across to here it burned all this kyle's saying this is a hundred year old barn Luckily, he was here. He was mowing. And he saw the smoke came out and grabbed a hose and was fortunate enough to get this out. But like, I mean, you can see like the pigs are in here. They're they're hanging out. Riggs, what are you doing, bud? That could have been bad. That could, I mean, if you weren't if you weren't here, it would have just five minutes of the whole thing going up. Really? Yeah. Woo. All right, folks, it is the next day. We are ready to go check the trap. Got to go check 
The crawfish trap. Well, this is the one on the kind of survival creek. The new one, the ultra clear, teeny, insane, tiny little creek. And then we still have to go check the beaver one. We haven't been to the beaver one yet. So, here we go. Oh, it's gushing. Oh, sheesh. Oh, what happened? Uh-oh, boys. Nothing. Oh, the whole thing, dude, they, the whole thing got ruined. Yeah, a big old rainstorm happened last night. That's probably not good for it. I'm not an expert trapper, let's put it that way. Round one, nothing. This creek's a botch, it was ultra clear. Now it's just ultra chocolate milky. Oh, sheesh, guys. What, what kind of road do we have? Oh, shoo! I don't know if I can get through this. Why? Someone explain to me, whose man's built this road? All right, we're walking. Lose the barrel season, boys. We're going on a hike. All right, go ahead, Junior, what do we got? You get any? Oh, is that full of mud? Uh-oh, we might not have gotten anything there. It's literally just filled with mud. That's the biggest botch yet. We're 0 for 2. We are, uh, we're not doing good. We got one one left. Oh yeah, they fixed it. Yeah, watch yourself, that's where the hole is. I don't that's not even beaver, that's just from the flood. See, this is when we gotta get nervous about the fields flooding, honestly. Oh, dude, I, oh my god! Our trap's gone. It's gone. We can't even get there. Okay, we really have a problem now. We have like a real big problem, guys. This is not... Oh my god. Dude, during even the flood two months ago, it did not look anything like this. Dude, this is gonna flood the fields 100%. That creek is way up. We, I'll show you guys in a second. This is not good. We used to... Our path used to be this. So what happened was it, it backflowed. That dam is completely... Think about how high that came up. That came up probably six, seven feet. We're gonna show you guys this. This is not good. Dude, I didn't realize how close it was to flooding these fields. Uh-oh, we might be we might be in trouble. We can't even get down there. This used to be where we walk, and then we set the trap down there. This is all water. This is all flooded. This used to be a slow-moving creek. It didn't even do this during the flood two months ago. This makes me actually pretty nervous that we're gonna have a whole nother flood again. Oh, dude, these spring rains just murked us. Oh, yeah, so the, oh, the second beaver dam was here. Completely gone. Our trap's gone. That's for sure just washed away. There's no trap in here anymore. I don't wow. know what to do. This is crazy how, how just, that's ripping. Yeah. No, this used to be dry. This used to be almost dry. And there was a huge, if you guys remember the huge beaver dam where we caught the snapping turtle, all the way down, it's just, it's flush now. So it probably came up at least five or six feet, easy. Literally in one night, it came up that far. This is insane. Whew. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is the next day. And, uh, well, we're about to wrap this video up. I wanted to include this in this video because this is what I've been waiting for. I've been meaning to do this for the last, like, three days. And it just took so darn long to get what I'm needing. Or what I'm doing. What I'm using. What you guys are about to see. It just took a couple days. But, I, again, I wanted to actually make this video about this. But it took so long, I ended up just doing a bunch of bull shoot at the farm. And uh, now today's the day. So, uh, here we go. Well, folks, here we go. This is, this is what I've been waiting for. Right here. This is chemical. We're, we're, dumping, we're dumping chemical in the brute bakery what's crazy is how expensive this chemical is so the lake management people that came and shocked the pond recommended that we use this um and so i gave him a call a little bit ago like you know last week and i wanted to order some so he told me how much i needed and i ordered it and i came down here to pour it but then i'm like ah i don't want to mess it up maybe i should google how to do this and found out that they overcharged me by 1300 dollars. so with that being said don't buy chemicals from a lake management company. They're gonna screw you. And I even called them and I said, hey bud, why did you charge me $1,300 more? And he's like, well, we have to upsell it. By $1,300? Are you kidding? Anyways, long story short, I bought this off Amazon, or actually not Amazon. I bought it off just a regular website for a lot cheaper than he sold me it for. Like I said, they upcharged me $1,300. So anyways, we're dumping this in here. This is round one, we're gonna get another gallon or maybe even two we're basically gonna like keep treating it keep treating it keep treating it. but essentially five thousand dollars is what it's gonna cost to treat this pond this is supposed to take care of the weed problem which you guys might be thinking killing the weeds is a bad idea but listen the reason why there's no bass in this pond is because of the weed problem it had a summer kill it killed the oxygen and that's basically what happened which is what the biologist said again he's smart i'm not i'm not hating on him he's smart but uh don't buy products from him anyways I guess we should just go. Should we just go dump this in? You ever dump a couple thousand dollars worth of liquid into a pond in hopes that it works? So what they've told me is you, it just spreads. I don't know if I'm just wasting my money at this point, but we're gonna give it a try. All right, folks, change plans. We just uh, well, we didn't really film a whole lot, but we're in the boat right here, and now we're in the middle. I felt I felt like a, you know if I'm gonna just dump thousands of dollars in the water, I probably don't want to do it like on the bank. I feel like for the best chances of this thing like spreading and doing what it's supposed to be doing, you should go in the middle. I don't know if that's like a proven fact, but I just feel a little bit better, you know? I don't wanna like mess this up and have to rebuy it. 
so it's not cheap. But I'm doing what I can to save the fish in the brute bakery. Doing what I can, spending all the money I can to make this the best brute catching pond on planet Earth. So the real question is what makes this so expensive? Hopefully it saves the fish. That's all that matters. Are we supposed to shake it? Is it good for is it good to have it on your hand? What's it smell like? Eggnog mixed with like flowers. Give it a go here. Thousand dollars, thousands and thousands of dollars, right here. Oh, oh we're just I'm just spraying you, don't worry. Oh, that's good for your skin. Well, oh, it, it does it does spread really well. I better get every ounce. Each ounce is like a hundred bucks. It's like it's sinking and it's all spreading out. Hopefully it's hopefully it spreads across the entire pond. Um, like I said, if it's not enough, then we will go and get more. Um, but th it said that that would cover eight acres, which I don't think this pond's eight acres. I don't know how many acres, but I don't think it's eight. So, I mean, it's like, it's doing work down there, son. I mean, I feel like we'll know pretty soon if it covers the whole pond. It's supposed to spread. I mean, right now it's just kind of sitting right there. It's supposed to go all the way down. I don't know if it will or not. <laughs> we'll find out. But again, these chemicals are here to protect the bass. So at any cost, I want to protect my six bass I put in here. We need to put more in here, by the way. But again, this is kind of stage one of uh, rebuilding the brute bakery. It's supposed to take care of the water mill, the duckweed. Basically, it's supposed to kill off enough vegetation to where we're not going to have an oxygen deprived pond. Because when there's so many weeds and it's so packed, the oxygen's crazy during the sunlight like it is now. But then when it gets dark, it just dies and it goes high and low. And during the lows, the bass can die, which is what happened last time. Well, last time as in like the last few years. Just got the pond, so now we're working on managing it. We've already stocked it with fish. Now that the weeds are growing, we got the chemical in there. Hopefully the chemical does its trick, otherwise I just wasted thousands of dollars. But it's okay, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it work. I'm telling you guys, springtime next year. Springtime next year, this pond is going to be absolutely freaking fire. But with that being said, I'm sure this video is plenty long. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like, drop a comment down below, and of course, Go buy yourself some flare merch because you can get entered to come to the farm and win the dangle dinghy. Like this. This is merch right here. This is merch. You'll copy yourself some merch. Each item that you purchase is one entry. You buy this hat and this t-shirt, you get two entries. You get to come to the farm, you get to go home with a boat. Life is good. Go click the link at the very top of the description. Go check it out and uh, peace. Peace.